All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload your files and submit them to the Market Center. So in the last video we left off, we were inside of this opportunity in the Documents section. We had selected Virginia, and right now we're trying to upload our agency agreements right here in the listed checklist. So in the middle here, you can see a list of documents that the compliance brokers have uploaded for you to include when you submit to the Market Center. Now, you can see here we have a couple things up top. You actually have the ability to add another item to this checklist. So if you have something unique to your situation or is not listed here, you could simply click on add item and create what that document name is and it will actually add it to this checklist here. You can also communicate back and forth with your compliance broker by selecting this add a comment section. And so you can actually say, um, having an issue getting the tax record. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense because that's very easy to do, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that this is the way that you can actually chat back and forth with the compliance broker. Now you can see here we have these different line items and we've actually made the decision to leave it up to you guys whether or not you upload each individual document to each line item or like some people do in dot loop, you can upload your entire contract to the single line item up top here, which is called listing agreement. Now do realize if you decide to take the route of uploading all of your documents into one line item, if there's anything wrong with that document, it will be returned and it's a lot more difficult to replace um, a single form within that library of documents that you submit to us here. The best thing to do actually is to submit each document on each line item. Now, in the DocuSign videos, I showed you how to create a room and how to do your, uh, create your uh, contracts inside of DocuSign. And I know I'm connected to DocuSign here because it says sync transaction and go to transaction. If I had not started DocuSign yet, this would say start a transaction. Now, because I'm attached to DocuSign, I've actually got the ability here when it says to upload your listing agreement, when I select add a file, you will see I get three options. Do I wanna manually upload something from my computer? Do I wanna bring in documents from DocuSign or bring something in from my custom folders within my opportunity? I think a majority of people are gonna use these first two here. So this is a really nice part about this system. You do not have to download anything from DocuSign. This opportunity is actually talking to DocuSign. So if I have that completed listing agreement in my DocuSign room, I can simply click on DocuSign here and it'll show me the two documents that are inside that room. So in this case, right, it was the listing agency document that I selected. So I see it right here. And what we're doing is we're basically just matching up the compliance checklist item to the actual form. So I can then click on exclusive agency listing agreement and click assign. And you will see it automatically assigns that document right here to the line item. So there's no downloading and re-uploading that you need to do. Now in the case of a tax record or an MLS listing, that may not be something you have in your DocuSign room. So in that case, we're gonna click add file and we actually have the ability to pull in any form or any document off of our computer. So keep this in mind, if you're in the under contract section and someone sends you a PDF of a ratified contract, you don't necessarily need to move that over to DocuSign first. You can simply just drag and drop that in to this compliance checklist. So in this case, I'm gonna click browse files and I have a tax record here for a property. I can click open and then assign. So you saw how I actually either attached a document through DocuSign or uploaded from my computer. It works the exact same way, it's very easy. And finally, residential property disclosure here, I can click add a file, I can go to DocuSign, and there's my residential property disclosure. So just kind of repeating that process like we did the first time, I'm selecting it, I'm assigning it, and all we're trying to do again is match up the document to the checklist item. Now there's a way to do it one by one, that's the way I just did it here. I'd also like to point out, this is probably the most efficient way to do it, which is if I have a lot of these documents that I need to upload in DocuSign, I can actually select attach multiple files. And what I can do is you can see here, it's already showing me that I've attached files here, but I can actually go down this list really quickly and just attach different documents all in the same screen. At the very end, I can just click attach and then all of your documents here are attached. Now the final process here is, now that I've uploaded different documents into this compliance checklist, two things. You'll notice I have a little open um, word right here, which just means that you've uploaded documents to, uh, to this compliance checklist. And you also see up top here, it says submit to Market Center. So if I've uploaded all the documents required for me to send to my compliance broker for this Virginia listing, 
I can then come over here and I can say submit to Market Center and it will say, okay, are you sure you want to submit this for review? And I'll say, yes, submit for review. You will then see over here, we have a status and it says submitted, right? And then once it's submitted here, you'll notice I cannot resubmit. So that's what that dialog box was saying was just make sure that all of your files are submitted. Uh, and then the compliance broker will have 48 business hours to review that file. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you know whether or not that file has been accepted or not. And in case anything wasn't correct, I'm going to show you how we're going to replace this document and upload the completed document per the request of the compliance broker. So that is how you attach documents to this compliance checklist. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.